Hey guys, and today I'm going to talk about some of the basics that you need for your Aussie Doodle puppy. So first of all, um, toys are a pretty big thing. Teddy absolutely loves these balls um, because they, yeah, they squeak. He loves carrying them around and um, squeaking them himself, so that's something he's really into. So that's something i get if I were you. Um, and they come in a pack of three and I bought multiple ones already and he just continues to love them. <laughs> then, um, about which leash to get, please, 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 please do not get a leash like this. They really, really suck. Your dog is constantly on tension and it's just really bad. Your dog is going to continue to pull the whole time. Um, if you get a leash like this, where you can manually um, change how much rope he gets, it's a lot better. Your puppy is going to um, not pull, he's going to walk a lot more relaxed, and it's just so much better. Please get a leash like this and not one with the tension. And they just, oh, I hate them so much. I actually made this leash myself. Um, it's pretty easy, you just get, you know, a rope and then you just braid it and incorporate um, some of these uh, thingies, I don't know the name of them, I forgot, so those kind of things and I also have a longer one, yeah, that I also made, you know, just braid it to different colors, so yeah, please get a leash like this and not the one with the pension because they just suck, I hate them. Then something you need to get is um, poop bags, I don't know what they're called, I'll just call them that. Um, yeah, if you're out and about or in the city or whatever, you need these and I actually like these because they're biodegradable, so that's great. Then um, if you have a car and you want to take your puppy or dog um, somewhere on a trip, you're going to want... Um, something that you can put them on in the car. So I like this one. Um, it comes with, I actually just bought this, uh, because I bought one um, at the very start, but then Puppy, out, uh, puppy. <laughs> then Teddy outgrew it, and then I got a bigger one, so this one. So they're great at holding your puppy um, in the car when you break, so they don't um, get thrown through the whole car. And then they come with, um, they come with um, a thing that you can plug into the car and then um, it holds your puppy. So this is actually a little bit stretchy so that it doesn't um, stop him abruptly. But, you know, he's uh, stopped in a nicely manner and not, you know, the... I don't know how to explain it. You know what I mean, okay? So yeah, that's something I really recommend. And I actually gave the other one that I had to my other dog. With, he's smaller, so he fits the other one. Um, this is an M, I think. So Teddy is a standard. He's um, an osteo from a standard poodle. So he is an M. So I don't know if that's something you wanna, if you wanna know the size or whatever. Teddy, come here. Come here. Yeah. Are you awake? Are you awake? Then the next thing you want to get is a normal collar. I'm just going to take Teddy's off for a second. So he just uh, wears a normal collar and then he has a dog tag um, with an engraved... Can you not bite it? With an engraved thing, so I'm not going to show you because my phone number is on there. But it's just uh, my family name and my phone number. So that if he gets lost, he's, um, they can just call me and I can pick him up or whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna put this back on. Yeah. And then another thing that I like um, when I go for a walk in the dark. Teddy, sit. Sit. Yeah, good boy. Is this. I actually just got this very recently. It's um, a light up um, collar. Teddy, no. It's a light up collar. I don't know how much you can see that it's lighting up or not. Yeah, so it has different um, different settings, so it can either 
do this or just yeah just normal color or whatever so yeah that's great for um, when you go for a walk in the dark and you still want to see where your dogs are I actually have two one for Teddy and one for Fluffy my other dog this one's an orange it's like orangey red yeah so these are really good really recommend it if um, you go for a walk in the dark yeah yeah, I'm just gonna turn these off again. And then, of course, another thing that you would want is a bed. Teddy, I can't show it if you're in front. Um, a bed. Um, my mom actually made this one, but it's kind of too small now, so I'm gonna need to buy one pretty soon. Um, but yeah, a bed like this, it's nice. So your dog can play with it or sleep in it or whatever. Teddy, do you want your food? Yeah. Yeah, you know you're sweet, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, as you can maybe see or maybe not, he's pretty big for he's pretty big for the small bed. And um, a thing that I also really, really recommend is getting a dog door or a baby door or whatever you want to call it, like that. Um, I actually have two, which I'm just going to show you. I actually have two. I have one between the kitchen and the living room. So this one, you basically just lift it up and then you can open it and then you push to close. And this one was actually, um, we've had this for a very long time. And it didn't fit into the door, that's why we put this here. Um, because uh, this thing was too small and the door frame was too wide. So we used it to fit it into the door. And then we recently got another one for the toilet where Teddy uh, sleeps or whatever. So this is also really nice, you just close it. And then he can't open it by himself. You need to push this button and the other button on this side to actually open it. So yeah, and you can open it both sides as well. So that's really cool. Yeah, and then the last thing you're going to want is um, bowls. Um, the problem with um, Aussie Doodles is that they, when they... Um, when they drink they um, have this kind of beard here and all the water is just stuck in the beard and then they drink and then they walk around and then it's just dripping everywhere on the floor so that's really annoying so check out the um, the bowl that I'm gonna uh, link you in the description it's uh, one where there's um, a place a space around the bowl where um, when your puppy is dripping or your dog or whatever uh, with water when they just drank it's gonna catch it and you don't have to clean the floor the whole time so that's something I'm gonna buy recently uh, I'm gonna buy really soon as well because it's just so annoying to always clean the floor guys something I only realized now is I totally forgot to mention the crate that I got for Teddy um, so this is the crate it's really cool because you can open it here you can open it on all the sides it comes with this nice um, soft um, bedding at the bottom and you can actually open it on almost all the sides, as you can see here. Um, this is all see-through and here as well, and at the top here. But I actually like um, putting a blanket on top, um, just so um, when Teddy sleeps, it's a little darker and not too light, because then often he can't come to uh, a rest, and he'll usually try to get out from all the open spots around. But yeah, this is something I really recommend getting because I absolutely love this crate. It's great. It's in my room. Um, so if Teddy is um, sleeping in my room or just in my room, um, he's always in here. And and the great thing about this is that it might seem pretty big now, but it's actually very easy to um, collapse. You just have to fold it. It basically folds in itself like this and then it's just um, a thing down here. It's not such a big 
voluminous, well, voluminous thing that you have to t carry around. But yeah, that's great if you want to take it along on trips. So yeah. So yeah, that's it for um, the basics that you need to buy for your awesome little puppy. Be sure to check out the links in the description um, if you want to help me out because they support this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Teddy! Do you like your treat?